Hello guys! Welcome back to Bite Size Star Stable. So, today we are going to talk to a tree. That's what the plan is. Um, we're also joined by beautiful Frost Hunter and Shadow, my probably one of my favourite Miss Foxes. He's so adorable. But anyway, let's just jump into it. Alex? Oh, okay. Let's just dismount and pretend I knew that. Okay, Alex, let's let's do this. What do we have to do? What do we have to do? Next, we need to ask for the trees a favour. You did this before, right? With the Sleeping Widow? Go ahead and try using a Dean's Light. Like on the ancient tree and see if you get its attention. I think I read that wrong. I didn't bring my a Dean's Light. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Do I actually need it? No. Wonderful. That's even better for me because I'm forgetful. Hello, tree. Sing to me. Sing to me? Okay. Hey. Aideen's light doesn't seem to have any effect on the tree? It didn't work? This isn't good. How are we supposed to get this thing's attention? No idea. Tree! Hey, tree! Give us a sign if you can hear us. Nothing, huh? I've got a friend named... Athena? I think. <laughs> Who loves to take... Who would love to take a chainsaw to your ugly old roots. It was worth a shot. Okay. What is going on? The wind. Oh, what did Linda say? The tree was calling it again? The tree was called again? The singing you? Alexis, what if you use the power of the lightning circle to move? Swift as a gust of wind beneath the tree's roots. If we can't get it to talk to us, we can at least make it sing. Here, I will lend you the power of lightning. Oh, you can just easily pass it along? Okay, thanks for that. Good to know. Oh, okay. It's helping out. Frost Hunter is okay. Don't hurt my Frost Hunter. Okay. I think it make us made a sound. It is. Okay. Ah. Okay, we gotta go this way. I have no idea how we are doing this, but sure. Did we do it? Uh, it feels so good to sing again. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're not the wind. Who are you? Why do you bother me? I'm sorry. Excuse me, Honorable Tree. We would not bother you if it wasn't a matter of utmost urgency for Aideen herself. You dare speak for Aideen. I should snap you like a twig for your insolence. That isn't any way to speak to my rider sapling. Tin can, forgive me. If I had known she was with you, don't let this overgrown shrub scare you. These trees are all bark and no bite, mostly. Speak your purpose. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of creepy. You would have me form a union with the boy to perform the whispering cry? Whisperer's cry? Yes, please. I could do this. My tendrils run deep and far beyond this island. Since the Sleeping Widow's awakening, the networks of our roots once cover all of Jovic. But my favour comes with a price. Perhaps I will keep the boy when the ritual is done. 
trade his trade his flesh for bark turn him into my lignobes i have no idea what that word is to serve me for eternity it will be quite an honor you shake your head a pity in that case all i ask is you promise to return in the future to help me grow to my true potential swear on Aideen that you will pay back this debt and I will help you okay don't look at me you not then let us begin the union okay join with the tree I'd never thought I'd say this, but I wish I was back in that set jail cell. Well, if you and Alex are here with me, I'll give it a shot. Okay, let's do this. Follow up with Justin. Ooh. Well, what? What is happening? Relax, whisperer, close your eyes. You will not need them to see what we seek. Ah! You're hurting him. I said I would not keep him. Not that there would be no pain. The boy will live. I see. I see light. Hundreds of lights. No, thousands. The horses of Jorvik. I can fill them all. Their joy, their purpose, their needs. Yes. The needs. Concentrate, boy. Focus on Aideen's gift. The lights are blinking out, but some remain. I see symbols, like those on the runestones. The language of jar, jaw. The language of jaw, studied but unspoken for centuries. I can understand it, but how? Hurry, boy. If this union continues, I cannot guarantee your safety. I almost got it. Just a few more. Ah! Ah! Is it over? <laughs> I hope so. I saw him. I saw Concord. <gasps> are the tree roots moving? The roots are moving! That's weird. Okay. When I was connected with the tree, something awoke inside of me. I couldn't just see the horses. I could really understand them. As easily as I could understand you. Can understand you, sorry. You saw Concord? Where is he? We have to go to him. Mm. Alex Cloudmill. Uh. <laughs> you have caused quite enough trouble for today. Elizabeth, we did it. We found Concord. In the process, revealing the location of all starbreeds in Jorvik to the grandson of our enemy and awakening an ancient power whose intelligence we cannot know. I am not my grandfather's puppet. I would not betray you. I want to believe you, Justin. I won't let you imprison me again. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna have like some like electric? <gasps> Oh, that is so adorable! <laughs> He's protected by the horses. Nay. Oh my. That's new. We never intended to hold you for long, Justin. If it weren't for the attack on our sanctum? If you truly know where to find Concord, I hope you will tell us of your own volition. You are free to go wherever you wish. Hooray! But as for you, Alex, you're coming with me. I can understand Alexis thinking this was a good idea. She has less experience with the dangers we face. But Alex, after all I have taught you, to have you go behind my back with such flagrant disregard for safety of everyone around you, I am supremely disappointed in you. Oh. Are the trees still moving? I don't know. I'm very confused what's going on. I want to thank you for helping me find myself. Thank Alex too. And as for Elizabeth and the Druids, no hard feelings? Really, 
I know my grandfather is dangerous. I want to stop him too. I just need time to figure out how I can help on my own terms. I'm still sorting out what I saw during my union with the tree. Concord was in a cage. There were others... There were other beings? There were other beings there? Things that weren't human. It was like a dream. I think I'll stay here on South Earth for a little while longer. There's something about the horses here that makes me feel at home. Dad's friend, the old hermit, said I'm welcome to crash at his place whenever. So, if you need me, I'll be there. Okay. When the time comes, I will lead you to Concord. I promise. Ooh! Oh, we got this Rhiannon's rope thingy. That's pretty cool. I wondered where we got that from. I thought it was an update quest that I missed. Well, look who's gotten herself into a mess of trouble. I know things are looking grim, but don't lose hope, kid. Aideen's got her eye on you. I can feel it. Okay. I like how I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> Once things have settled down a bit, I hope you will seek me out again. You have potential in more ways than you know. There's a lot about the Druid School of Horsemanship that even the Soul Riders don't know about. Maybe someday we can pick up pick we can pick up with your lessons. For now, I'd be honoured if you'd hold on to this for me. It's an old druid... Larret? I have no idea what that, how to say that. It's... It no longer holds any power, but it's what I learned on many years ago. See you around, kid. Goodbye. Ooh, let's have a look. To be continued. <gasps> no! Oh, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like my Miss Fox more, though. Well. That was unexpectedly cool. I actually don't think I have many quests left. I have, obviously, the birthday race, which may not be here now. Chocolate muffins. Oh, Elizabeth has a quest for me. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, well, as we're kind of over in this direction, we may go do Jamie Over Trees. Jamie, is that her name? Olive Tree? We'll quickly go and do her quest, just because I've had that for such a long time. And then in the next episode, we'll be back to continue with Elizabeth. I thought it said it was over though. <laughs> I'm very confused. But honestly, I really enjoyed that. I have, I love Mother Nature and all that stuff and kind of the powers connected and just the, 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 the magic kind of behind it. And I think it's just so cool. And I'm really happy that they're expanding on it a bit more. I would love to do more with our powers though. Like maybe more lessons, maybe some cool little things. Who knows? I don't know where this quest line is going to take us, but I'm really excited to fully get into it. Um, so yeah, let's run up and quickly see Jamie. Is it Jamie? Are you Jamie? You are. Okay, let's have a quick look. Hello there, my friend. Have you come back to have a coffee, coffee break with me? How lovely. I'd love to have a coffee break with you, but unfortunately, I still have one small job to do before I can take a break. Hey, you know what? Why don't you hang out with me in the kitchen so I can teach you how to make my fantastic chocolate muffins? Okay. I love chocolate muffins. Oh, no. I'm pressing all the wrong clicks. There we go. I actually love chocolate muffins in real life. Although blueberry muffins are my favourite. Let me know, like, if you've made it this far in the video. Let me know what your favourite muffin is. Or cake. Oh. This place is a lot smaller than I expected. I promise you will love these chocolate muffins. They are one of my best recipes. Okay. A few years ago, I created this chocolate muffin recipe with one of my best friends. 
I really think you'll like them. But enough talk, let's get started. Make sure you prepare. There is a lot of steps to get through. I think you'll manage just fine though. Just listen to my instructions, then we can get started. Oh no, it's not one of these ones. Okay, now you... Okay. Making chocolate muffins. Turn on the oven, I can do that. Melt butter in a pan. Perfect. I feel like I should open this just in case. Get the flour. It's behind us. On the chair. Pour the flour into the bowl. Normally you have to sift flour. But maybe that's just me. Here we go. One out. Get the baking powder, which is on the floor. Put that into the bowl. Okay. What do we do now? Use the whisk to stir. Mixing together. We're not even near the bowl, but it's fine. Now what? Get the eggs. Okay, these are not vegan friendly. That's fine. Get the sugar. Where's the sugar? Where do, where do you keep the sugar? Here? There we go. Put the sugar into the bowl. There we go. I'm getting stressed. I like whisk everything together properly. I overthink things way too much, which is why I freak out. Okay. Get the milk in the fridge. Okay. Pour the milk in the bowl. There we go. Get the cocoa. Where do you keep the cocoa? Oh, on the chair. There we go. Pour the cocoa into the bowl. There we go. My goodness. Get the melted butter. Pour the melted butter into the bowl. Mix properly. Here we go. Okay. Honestly, a lot of this is just going to be do this, do this, because I get the chocolate pieces from the fridge, of course. Um, oh, the hearts. That's cute. Oh, we did it. Well, we did half of it. I think a new master baker is born. You have a hidden talent, Alexis. Wow, is all I can say. Thank you. You did a great job, Alexis. The batter looks perfect. Now, just pour the batter into the tins, put them in the oven, and then they're ready. Thanks a lot for all your help. Now, let's see. Try and pour it carefully. Oh no, batter all over the floor. This wasn't how it was meant to go. <sighs> but there's no need to get upset. As long as the five second rule applies. As long as something hasn't been on the floor for more than five seconds. It's like it didn't happen. Can you help me, dear? We can quickly ladle the batter back into the bowl and then it's all fixed Ew. okay we, we think it in there <laughs> I think I might have been a bit more than five seconds but you don't need to worry if we happen to pick up a bit of dust a little dust cleanses the stomach as my sweet old mum used to say. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Because I don't want it to be too long. We'll be back with Jamie. At the beginning of the next episode. Because I kind of thought it would be quick. But it isn't. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. Frost Hunter. Thank you for joining us on this crazy, crazy adventure. <gasps> oh my goodness. I would love to be able to buy like horse cupcakes for our horses i don't know if they do that i know they do like dog treats that are like cakes and stuff someone needs to invent a horse one and they need to add it into the game i think it'll be so 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 cute but anyway we are over here at the stable to give frost hunter a treat to say thank you so much for joining us we'll give you a banana <clears throat> there we go but yes, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our adventures here on the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. So I will see you guys then.